What's up YouTube, it's Spartan CC bringing you a Castle Clash video today. If you missed my last video, you're gonna regret it. It has my face reveal in it, go watch it. It's just me trying out um, Insane Dungeon 8-1. If you guys are having troubles with it, I passed it. You can try and use my setup. Got past 8-1 as you can see. But that is not what this video is about. You're here, because I'm talking about Lazulix. Um, this hero's been out for a while actually. Um, Let's actually see what order he came in. If we go all the way down here from the heroes. So he came out. He was actually one of like the newer like the newer cool heroes. Because like, you know, you got these heroes like Commodora, Bogeyman, Rowdy Rascals that you like never use. And then you got Lazu, which people use all the time. He came even before Rosaline and Cosmo. So he's been out for quite a while. You can get him pretty easily if you trade your prestige. You can get him for 60,000 prestige, which is not that bad. And yeah, he's just a legendary hero, not an epic hero. Um, but you guys are definitely going to want this hero. So there's kind of two builds that you can do with Lazu. I have two right here that I'm going to show you guys. So I have a damage build, and then you have a survival build. So what this hero does is... Um, when he does his proc, he goes into a little bubble, a little ice shield, um, to attack damage and reflect damage for five seconds. So he deals 410% attack damage, so it's like in a cone around him, and they freezes them for that long. He's immune to silence. Um, when his ice shield is in effect, he can't move, attack, or anything, but he also can't take any damage. So it's pretty nice. Um, I just use a brute force. You can use any like damage dealing talent. Um, I'm just trying to get him the most damage possible on his insignia. I go with revitalize because you want him to have that energy at the beginning of the battle. This gives him 100% energy and increases his attack by 120% for 10 seconds. Equipment, I have hyper strength. I should have it at 5 of 5, but I haven't been able to get one. But you want a damage talent on him. Destiny, doesn't really matter, just as high as you can get. I have him at level 14. Um, so what this is going to do is as soon as he goes into the battle, he's going to be able to proc, do a bunch of area damage, and then usually after that he dies, because one, as you can see if I go on to here, he does not have that much life, only like a million, right, which seems like kind of a lot, but then you come over to like Dynamica, who's got like 1.5 million, or you know, some of these epic heroes which have a lot, um, so yeah, I mean, he has decent health. But it's not great. You'll see he dies really fast. So we'll just try out him right now. So if we come into a dungeon, or actually let's let's go raiding. Let's go raid some people. Yeah. So this is my my kind of go-to for raiding. So you want to find someone that you can probably beat. <laughs> Which takes a little bit sometimes. So yeah, nope, no five stars, sorry can't deal with that okay this one doesn't look too bad so you kind of want someone to kind of go out here to take in all of that and then you want to spawn everyone and you see lazu is procking over here and he's going to take out everyone right here kind of stun them a little bit make it pretty easy for us to get right into their base to kill all their other heroes so as you can see he died so he doesn't have a lot of health, but he's really good for taking out all those buildings in one shot, everything like that. Let's revive him. The other way that you can set up Lazu is a survival. So you're going to want Empower. You always want him to have the energy he needs to proc, because then he will be invincible for however long he is procking for. And then for your Insignia, you're going to want... Or it can be the other way around. So you want Survival, and you also want Empower. So basically, survival is going to negate all damage for three seconds, and it's going to regain his HP, um, for and then the cooldown seven point five seconds. So there's only a little window that he could be attacked, and then it will also heal him even while he's in his little bubble. So this is going to take a little bit longer for him to start out his proc. So he's not going to be able to proc instantaneously, but he will be able to do pretty well. So here we go. We're going to do these towers right here real quick. Send him in. So as you can see, he's going to die. <laughs> That's not a good example. Sorry, guys. Wow. 
Let's do a different, let's do a not as hard dungeon. Oh, this one I don't even have three stars on. All right. So let's just set him in here. So as you can see, he's going to proc. Every time he has the really big bubble around him, he's going to be healing. So you can see you just want him to have full energy all the time. He's probably going to die here. But the survival is going to make it so that he can last a lot longer. So as you can see, he took out about half the board just by himself, right? So that's not even that bad. We're just going to send in everyone else because I guess I need to get 100% uh, on this one, which I have not yet. There we go. That was weird. I did not know I didn't have 100% on that one. Great. So yeah, there's the, sur the survival. Now if we change him back, I'll show you the same dungeon with the damage output talents on. We're going to go back into that same one right here. We're going to revive him. We're going to set him down the same spot right here. So he's going to proc more instantly right but then as you can see he's not really going to regain too much energy he did right there but as you can see he's taking a lot more damage he did a lot he did basically about the same but um it's because he's constantly procking here because all the towers are on him but also didn't do as much damage but he did, he actually didn't do too bad i thought he'd do a lot worse than that um but as you can see you know he always he had a lot more life and what, where, where he's really going to shine in the survival mode is like in Lost Battlefield when you're going head to head against heroes. Um, and then he's really good for the um, with the damage output when um, you're doing raiding, when you're doing dungeons, um, you know, just things where you need to kill a lot of buildings or, or the heroes really quickly in one if you can kill him in one proc. If you can't kill him in one proc, then you're going to want survival. If you can't kill him in one proc, you're going to want damage output so i usually have the damage output on them but there is also the survival one um so yeah hopefully you guys like this video if you want me to do any other heroes like this um you know just different ways you can use their talents and insignias to help them get better or to have different kind of uses um, let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching guys as always please like and subscribe and have an awesome day